Setting up and organizing a full set of construction documents is a task that can overwhelm even the veterans in the industry. Accessing the correct information at the right time is crucial to project success. Additionally, managing the flurry of changes, questions, and responses can be the full-time responsibility of one or many. Bluebeam Review offers an abundance of features that'll do much of that work for you. Start with the combined set. That is, all the drawing sheets in one multi-page PDF file. Looking at the thumbnails tab in the left panel, we can see that each page label is different. Some page labels say one, two, three, others have a long name. It's not consistent, and what would be great is to have the drawing number in the bottom right corner of the title block appear in the page label. Historically, this involved an incredible manual effort to change each page label one by one. Review takes that burden off your shoulders with a feature called Automark. Click on the icon with a star on it in the top of the Thumbnails tab, and note the dialog that pops up. You can create page labels from a region on the page, the drawing number on the title block, for example, or from bookmarks. Select the Page Region option and draw a rectangle around the area on the sheet with the drawing number. Make sure to make it big enough to capture the long numbers on other sheets in the set. Now this may be all you need, but you can also include a second region. I'm going to include a hyphen and select a second region, this time the drawing name. Once you've finished adding the regions, select OK. Next, in the Create Page Labels dialog, confirm the page range you want to rename. Click OK. The review will do all the heavy lifting for you, scanning the regions and including the information in the page label. Boom. Done. I can repeat this process to add bookmarks to the document as well. Click over to the Bookmarks tab in the left panel and select the icon with the star on it to launch the Automark feature for bookmarks. Keep in mind you can repeat the Select Page Region process, or you can have the page labels you created transferred right over as bookmarks. That was quick. Now that the whole set has the correct page labels and bookmarks updated, we can really take this drawing set to the next level. By creating a navigable drawing set, everyone can quickly get to the information they need to see on the correct sheet. This used to be a labor of love involving many individual hyperlinks to allow for easy navigation throughout. Now, with Review 12 Extreme Edition, there's a feature that will help automate this process, Batch Link. This feature will only work with searchable PDFs, so make sure you have high-quality vector-based PDFs to get the best results. Go to File, Batch, Link to start this process. Select your combined file, or multiple files if they're separated. Next, we need to generate the search terms. Since we've already run Automark, we'll create our links by page label, so make sure that's selected. Then click on Settings. In the Search Terms settings, we can find the drawing title from the page label by using a filter character. In this example, we placed a hyphen between drawing number and drawing title. Click OK. Now we see the search terms have been populated with the drawing number. This will search through the entire PDF set and find all references in the drawing for that drawing number. Next, we can take a look at the link options. Here we can control the highlight color of hyperlinks and creating relative paths. This is also where you'll manage how you'd like to revise hyperlinks or set the overlap behavior. Once you have the color and link options set, select OK to get back to the main batch link dialog. Click Run and watch the magic happen. Review will search for each drawing reference and magically create links to all appropriate sheets. Once complete, you'll see a summary appear that gives you the results from the batch link. Notice how all the hyperlinks have been generated and highlighted with the color we selected. As the final step in the document organization and setup, you may want to extract the set to individual files. By creating an individual PDF file for each sheet, we gain a number of benefits, including a smaller file size for access on mobile devices and tablets, as well as making it easier to update documents with revisions. You'll also allow several people to work on different pages of the document all at once. To extract each sheet in the drawing set, just right-click on a page in the Thumbnails tab and select Extract Pages in the Context menu. You can extract each page as a separate file, use the page label as the file name, and update the hyperlinks with relative paths, all in one quick step. 
For additional information, please check out our training page on bluebeam.com.